yeah, yeah, digging deeper, volume, I think, 10. <laughs> we are here with an English episode, and uh, I'm apologizing up front because I am fucked, man. I'm <laughs> fucked from, from yesterday, but we come to that later. Yeah, you, you, you remember that when, when you, 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 last year you, have, uh, uh, you had to perform here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I, sure. You recognize the smell and shit? Yes, yeah, she's a little so, bit smaller now, but yeah. I, I wanted to, uh, <laughs> to f make her feel at home again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's like the weather god wasn't on our side that day. Uh, nah, nah, it's all nah, going wrong with it. Uh, really, the big fan asked me, um, did you have to pay for Deutsche Bahn because you got caught? Oh, because no. you were, we were yeah. riding the train in the wrong direction. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that we was crazy. jump off one as well if you didn't get a ticket. And um, yeah, yeah, had to. Jump, jump off and then get wait for the next one and there wasn't one for ages. Yeah. <laughs> it was mad and it just the rain, man. The rain. We got caught in every storm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's quite funny actually. Thinking, yeah, we're going to be outside in this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the venue's supposed to be outside, isn't it? The, the original venue's in a park, isn't it? Um, yeah, it was supposed to be in the park and we had the option officially to go to the venue where we performed yesterday oh, yeah. but uh, we couldn't reach the guy yeah so we had to improvise yeah well, this was dope <laughs> man this was really cool this was dope the last night venue was nice as well man. yeah it was man. really good the people were great man I, I think this is a place where we're all kind of artists you see that that to run the always Rex pictures and shit like like around yeah. here uh, all kinds of artists meet here so yeah. it was a perfect uh, option yeah for for that moment but yeah uh, you, yeah, you, you, worked, you said but. something like yeah that was the biggest biggest show <laughs> 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 and, and I think that it's, uh, I so I think supposedly that wasn't true, but uh, I, I think you had fun and it was yeah, one of my favorites. Yeah, favorite. yeah one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, maybe not the biggest, but one of my favorites. You know, like to feel it, even just to get what how many people in it, forty or something. It feels intimate. It's tight. You know what I mean? We're all together. Oh, and packed as yeah, well, it felt packed. And in. the vibe was excellent. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, and with some clever camera angles, you can make it look bigger as well. Like. Yeah. <laughs> so if you, if you compare it to to yesterday. Um, that was like it's supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so what, uh, just some words. What, 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 what do you think about yesterday? That the, the show and, and yeah. uh, also the German eggs like Max are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Max star, man. Max yeah. star, ten out of ten, man. <laughs> ten out of ten. Honestly, ten out of ten. Like. If I'm honest, I don't remember a great deal after we went on. So. No, no. <laughs> uh, after <laughs> we went on, just got fucked. Like. Yeah, game over. Game over. It's, it's hard to do a, a show after him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hundred percent. And and even. I think his DJ was saying the hashtag is don't perform after us or something. <laughs> and it's right, like it's hard. Was, but we've like the crowd was with us, you know what I mean? That's the main thing. You have, you have to realise that the first time I, I got um got to know this guy, he was uh performing his new album yeah. and he was releasing it in the park uh on top of a truck <laughs> and he was like, Yeah, I got an idea on the way here and he jumped off the truck, taking a, a, a beer bench yeah where, where, where we was just sitting yeah. drinking beers t told two people yo 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 i need that I took that bench threw it up on top of the truck and was performing <laughs> one hour in the middle of the park in front of i don't know 10 people <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> he's got the, the hunger park, isn't and, and that's how i got to know him so that's the craziest story about him but uh, someone yeah. was telling me it was maybe chris who dj for us last night um he was telling me that um He's like, you've seen him once just pour a bottle of vodka over his whole head <laughs> and then just perform. And you're just like, wow. But he's, he's got, he's, he's hype men are all like, he's got two or three hype men. They're there, they're locked in, really well rehearsed. Good show, man. One yeah. of the better shows I've seen probably ever, you know. He's like, a, he's like a, I thought he was like an arena artist, you know. He's, yeah. he's always doing shit like that. That, that, that. That's why we booked, uh, yeah. that was a kind of like a plan behind the, the booking and, and the, the uh, yeah, the 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 the, the order. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And I was like, ah, should we do Big Toast and Strange Neighbor after Maxa? But uh, it worked was, out very well because yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the well, audience is um, programmed to to listen to everything, and this is what yeah. what we did ten years. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. so we we tell people, yeah, you have to listen to this shit, and uh, mm. if you if you go bounce, yeah, yeah, listen to this shit too yeah. because it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 
Uh, when, 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 when it comes to, to mu the music scene in, in England or uh, Great Britain, uh, actually, it's, it's, it's like for me, the, the first thing that pops up in my mind is grime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the big so. thing. Grime, drill. Um, yeah, yeah. Like, like, that's, it's not London based, big in Birmingham and other places, other cities. It's, it, it's city music, but it's um, sort of it's, it's like hood based, isn't it? Like, um, but the UK rap scene is, I guess, it's more of a homage to like the '90s boom bap kind of stuff. But it's a lot smaller. It's not as mainstream, you know. Um, but, th yeah, that's um, if if you listen to your music, it's '90s boom bap orientated. Yeah, yeah, like, flavor, like, yeah. yeah. mostly, yeah. I think yeah, there's yeah, some yeah. some things you have a little and, bit. Um, so so my my question would be, what what's in the charts? What's the number one hits in the uh, UK <laughs> charts? Is it? Is it? It's gonna be like, your Ariana. Is there rap into it? Yeah, now there is. You got artists like Dave, um, who's a guy from Streatham, just up the road from us. Um, he's a good rapper. Um, Drake co-signs him and stuff, um, and he's in a top boy, top boy on Netflix. So, but I that's, listen to no radio. Nah, for I mean, years, and then you get so Stormzy. Just... It's grime and rap, but it's not. There's no, uh, no boom bap as such. But it's yeah. still great. There's great rap okay. coming through. But you'd have to. I think it you might get a little bit trickled down, like you know, when them big I don't know, pop grime sort of acts. Yeah, but I wouldn't like, even say like maybe it gets people used to English accents. Yeah, that's not it. Just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, when you because most but, of what you hear is American and it's yeah. so like, well, you, you get, get all used to an English stars, accent or London accents or whatever regional accents. Once you get used to that, it makes what we do I suppose a little bit more accessible because it's not quite so harsh on the ears and yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but generally the pop mu the chart music in in That's UK is, is American <laughs> Americanized music but you are getting younger um, rap artists come through but it is predominantly the trap is and it, grime is it comparable with what was going on yesterday no because, because no, and it's, it's no. That's it's a, a completely demographic. This of, is a, of this fans is an underground everything. rap hip hop yeah. scene, yeah. yeah. And if we wouldn't do it, nobody would do it. So yeah, um, yeah, yeah. this is just for for the heads. But um, in the German charts, there's uh, there's a lot of rap. Nine uh, out of ten songs have some rap influence into yeah. it. But gotcha. it's like like the mumbo rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This I mean, shit, it's got the know? trap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, I don't dislike it. It's just not my cup of tea. I, I prefer I the production on it a lot because the production is great. Really mixed down well. Um, good sonically on the ears, you know, but just not what I like, you know. Like, I do prefer like the 90s. I hate all It's like, you, uh, I hate you probably yet, know Winnie yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And he said, it's like listening to another genre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like um, if you compare Big Daddy Kane to, I don't know, Little Pump. Yeah, you wouldn't, yeah. And, and you, nobody you knows don't put them shit the about hip hop, and, and you show them these uh, two songs from 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 these artists. Nobody would connect think that's the same thing, shit, like, man. But no, none of right. the sort of gold and the, like, the things that we look back on, not, uh, not all of that was particularly lyrical or clever. Like I think Doggy Style is one of my favorite albums, and that's just stupid shit. You know, fucking women and. Smoking weed and like, there's no no lyrical sort of yeah I, shit on there but or. I guess it's the vibe like I guess we look back though because you can even look back into like in 2005 we was probably slating off the charts like oh, oh yeah, yeah, like so and so is like, like, like but now that the, what we was hearing back then in 2005 is now acceptable it's kind of I mean, it's like, oh, it's kind of like from this anything new shit, we like. just naturally hate <laughs> ten years time you're like oh remember yeah. that tune back oh, yeah, in the day like. <laughs> I, I, always, I always tell it on the podcast, I hope I can uh, tell it uh, in English, but um, it, it, is a, it is a study yeah. that says when you um, are like 30 years old, you don't dig so much into new music yeah. like you did before. So you, uh, you, you dig in your own music, which you... Definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. The year of thirty. It's, it's nostalgia, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, I, I'm not, I'm not really sure if that's completely true. Or it, it fits for me. I mean, yeah. But uh, every DJ told me, no, no, no. No, that's no, but not yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. DJs are a different breed, though, aren't they? They're, they're not normal people. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> they're, they're, they're listening to music in a different kind yeah. of way, I think. But when I, li when I listen to new music, and if I don't, if it's crap. It, it makes me angry. <laughs> yeah, and then you write new music. And then I, yeah, and then I, think, I ain't got time to waste on this sort of Too shit. Too busy like, making. I'll it. go to something I know is good. Yeah, that's um, it. Yeah. And the hard to answer question is like, like, how would you describe you if you would, would. Put you in a genre. 
And what what you how would you name your uh, kind of music? You wouldn't say nineties boom bap. No, I guess no, it's 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 it, because it's not. But it's, it's only it, yeah. like grumpy pub breath or something. Yeah. Isn't it? yeah. <laughs> Drunk rap. Drunk rap. <laughs> drunk. Drunk rap. Drunk. Drug rap. Drunk rap. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I call it, uh, my, my music myself boom bap heavy metal. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like kind of like this. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, your influences, where, where do they come from? Um, Being down the pub. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course. It's, it's, it's just, um, it's rapping about what you're doing but where, where were your music uh, yeah, influences there's a bit of everything like, no, i mean when, when we do when i do stuff like more in that like, crew stuff i suppose it's more just sort of having having fun having a laugh sort of stuff so like drinking and taking piss out of people and yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> crew, crew stuff is actually well different like, yeah, yeah, yeah. right because like say for instance when i work with tom it's a heavy cocaine music <laughs> alcohol music it's like it's just constant that's what it is just but when on my own like my solo it. album that I'm making at the moment it, it, is like sad love yeah, like oh my breakup was so bad like it's, it's, two it's, different sides it's interesting that you, that, that, that you say that I always used to say was there weed or Cypress Hill what was the first yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> did yeah. I smoke weed because I was listening to Cypress Hill or was it the other way around like, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, can, yeah. you can't tell yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so um, it I think different kinds of music bring different kinds of drugs. So if you mm. got a uh, electro and, and grime scene um, that is big, that brings uh, the, the kind of drugs yeah, with yeah. it. Well, Why wine and hip hop? It's, it's, it's basically it's drinking and smoking. Well, our Which side is definitely yeah, yeah. drinking and sniffing. Too. <laughs> <laughs> and, but no, I'm just saying like, our music but is heavy. It's, 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 yeah, it's pickle yeah. rap, but the London culture is so different. We're pub, we're pub boys, isn't it? So we're always down the pub and down the pub booze and pickle go hand in hand. <laughs> it's a, but there is a lot but of smoking. Now, now but in London, uh, well, outside of London, you've got all this sort of high focus and blah mm. and that, and they just, That's any drug sort of... Well, and it's weed. Like, a, a lot, lot of their there. stuff, the high focus is like quite weed. But I mean, right? not, 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 not the artists. I'm I mean, not trying like, to tar them as drug But a lot of the fans, like, all the little country boys who get messed up on ketamine and... Like, oh, yeah, the fans, like, yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. fans, but... I just want to say the artists are all a bunch of fucking spank kids or something. No, the fans are not in there. The whole UK rap scene is quite a big drug culture. It's almost like a festival culture <laughs> at venues. That's <laughs> just like... And they're great fans as well, mm. do you know what I mean? They're good people, so... Yeah, like, but it's, it's heavily... It's, it's different in London, though, because that is a bit more traditional, like, you know, weed and beer and that, and people sort of... Yeah a little bit and I think that's part no. of why so, so, so if you take take all that together you, you have a uh, uh, kind of like pop culture uh, that that is influencing everything else you got the grime scene that was influencing the trap music and, grime and, and great, shit man. like that uh, combined with Dirty Thousand I think I think trap um, is coming out from grime and Dirty Thousand yeah, 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 yeah. definitely so Dirty Thousand and, and, and the amalgamation of the two there's sure. an, an, an influence from, from both sides and it's so big. It's so big. It's mm. uh, even so big in Germany, and and it's copying what what uh, the US sound does. I think it's because it's so, so. So my question always was: yeah. you you are rapping in English, man. Uh, basically, everybody can understand what you're saying, but um, uh, the I don't want to reduce it to to clicks and views. But if you mm. if you compare that, oh. if a anybody from 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 the US would do the same shit, it would. Mm it would go high. Oh, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. But, but there that? are, there are like, so the UK rap scene, there's obviously, there's there's two main, main ones. There are other ones, but like you've got Blah Records and Hi-Fi. They're doing big numbers, in it? They're doing, they're hitting the millions of views, half a million, just like that. So there are aspects of the UK rap, the underground UK rap that are doing it and they're doing it big and they're doing it well, do you know what I mean? Always got a salute to that. We Then there's, and then after that, it's like, kind of doesn't spread other than that you know mm. like it's like the fans fixate on on those i think there, there are other like labels youtube is getting a bit dead as well like people don't go yeah. on it like they used to you know no really. one's getting the same views and but as well it's about it's promotion sort of shutting isn't? everything off as well it's like kicking the ladder away the people that are established are doing very very well but it's harder to break through now where it's mm. like when it first come through with myspace and sound click all them things like anyone you, it was a level playing field whereas now it's just budget in it. Like the more budget you get, the more visibility you have. Like if you if you don't promote your posts, only a handful of people are gonna see them. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I kind of like hate how how this whole internet shit and whatever works, but I I don't get why 
look, I, when, when I rap in German, mm. uh, all the German guys can understand it. They hear yeah. his flowing <laughs> technique and then he, he raps cool stuff, but nobody else will, will ever nah. understand. So, uh, but, but, but everyone, basically, almost everyone can understand what you're rapping yeah. and you're really not rapping just about drinking. Man. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a lot deeper yeah. than that. Like, Toast album yeah. is... Like, this is what I was saying. Like, it's solo artist you, out of us. So Toast is very different, his album, on his own. Like, so it's like, it's almost when you come together, you get the lad banter yeah. together and we just... It's and like, like debaucherous shit, well, you know? Right? You and can make a horrible joke but then have a sort of more deeper level to it so say, yeah. some, say some shit that is obnoxious up front but then you break it down and it's like well actually yeah there is kind of a point buried away there somewhere yeah <laughs> so, so this, this might be uh, an obvious question but uh, when did you start to do this uh, how old were you and, um, and then how did you get into the scene because um, if it's different to the like uh, we, we were skateboarding uh, yeah. and hanging out at the park and just uh, dropping some beats and freestyling over yeah, other yeah. people's verses yeah, and yeah, shit yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, we yeah. didn't mm. know what we were doing is it, is it similar? It was, it was I, mean, well, I started sort of before I think it was before like there was really big sort of internet now I never you know was, what is broke so I never had a computer or nothing like that um, so it was mainly sort of through like mainstream sort of thing and a little bit of sort of garage grime sort of things as well um, it's only sort of starting doing music like, very badly and then you start looking at other artists and then I sort of discovered this big sort of scene and that well not big really but you know what it is uh, yeah um, so it's great though yeah and I suppose it's through that because me and my brother Jack we, we started doing stuff together and then through well Jack met Jay at college young yeah uh, 16 yeah. 16 I yeah yeah and we started oh. going up to all the jams and that like, you know, fake bus passes and that Going all around London, like, like to you, sir, I wasn't night. even like yeah. this is before, like, so I was 16 going to all these shows. Like, Ollie Sodden put uh, put them on their first show, like, when I was 16, and then mm. I remember I had to like smuggle the but through the bouncers and mm. you know to get me in to get my little guest verse on there, you know, like, yeah, 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 that was the it. black sheep, bro. That's, yeah, like, yeah. that's the best story, see, when when, when your older brother have to smuggle ah, you yeah, into yeah, the yeah, club yeah. because you're not old enough to yeah. be on stage, <laughs> and you're, yeah, I'm performing here, yeah, 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 no, 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 no. yeah, it's honestly, it was like it was mad, and it's like the Croydon scene at that time, there was like a hip hop night, um, called um, Bangers. Bangers, and it was all of a sudden's night, great, another brilliant artist from local artists. Um, and he um, he used to run this night like just just carry like the like literally everyone in Croydon a lot of people come through him like just south south yeah. London like because I think the Ram Asylum came up through there and yeah well they, I mean they, yeah, yeah, that speakers crowd was. though but they yeah, all yeah, played yeah. there that like, skinny man played there he had got big people through the door but just yeah. didn't sort of gain as much traction as other nights in London you know um what 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 is it about uh, I think it's the same everywhere yeah but um. Why that does this underground scene there not get so many attention? That that's uh, what I can't uh, kind of try to figure out. Because everyone's because, a rapper, because, yeah, because uh, basically everyone can understand what you're saying, and it's yeah. not not uh, just drinking shit and bullshit. No, 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 you yeah. could reduce it to yeah. that, and that, yeah, they're always yeah. uh, singing about <laughs> drinking. But hey, and, and then the German charts, one of the top songs in uh, five or six years is "I mm. Got a Hangover." <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, what the <laughs> fuck, man? I could write that too. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's basically "I Got a Hangover." and I got a puke so, so yeah. this is basically Ooh. the lyrics and when, when we do it and so as rappers it's like yeah what that they're just talking about drinking but everybody is on the in, in, in his car on, on the way to his to his fucking job man I got a hangover we've all been there though isn't it I am relatable yeah, <laughs> yeah. Lucky yeah this is the only job. pop song I can really from my heart relate to yeah, yeah, yeah. because it basically yeah. says I, I, I have been drinking too much so everybody can relate to it so why is it um, that in the same language the, 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 the American pop culture pops up mm. like yeah and everybody got uh, like a yeah. like a like an earworm I don't I don't it's know well, 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 the English term yeah yeah no, the, 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 yeah yeah the catchy sort of yeah. uh, I, I think it's because what we're susceptible to, we grow up on American TV, like American films, yeah. American music. That's a bit idea game. So we, I'll have one as well, please, mate. Uh, I'm trying to know. But like... Mama, mama, boy. Do I drink through the hangar? <laughs> but yeah, like, American music is, we grow up on it, you know? So I guess like, anything that comes from America, it, it could be, it can be not even like, it can be really underground, but do numbers, you know? Like, and that's, 
like mm. the sound of, it's just naturally appealing to the ears like, yeah. I prefer American hip hop to UK rap do you know what I mean a lot of the time and some, that's yeah. some, some I mean yeah. there's some some yeah. brilliant UK artists but so, I, 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 I really can understand it because I, I prefer American hip hop to, to German uh, mm, hip hop. Mm. I, I, I'm listening to a lot of more American artists uh, and, and maybe some Canadian yeah. ones yeah. Than, than, than to German artists because it's all like, it kind of like go, goes plastic, you know? It's yeah. like, like it's not real anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And there, 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 there is this small balance between. Yeah, this is dope and this is pop shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's a, like, and the, but the thing is like with the, the say the UK scene like the more drill and like the grime artists that are coming up, it's really hard to dislike it because they're young guys from like they've grown up on that stuff. They would never have heard of say a jest or or, or like a roots maneuver or something. Do you know what I mean? They would never have heard of them. So they would have heard of only a Wiley or a Dizzy Rascal mm. or or a chip or monk or something do you know what I mean yeah, yeah, that's yeah. all they've heard so they grow up only hearing that and if you, they're not going to hear a Wu-Tang they never have heard of that do you know yeah, what I mean yeah like, yeah that, that was like I, I was uh, standing in front of a H&M is a, a German uh, yeah. store where I buy clothes okay. yeah, and, yeah. and they got the Wu-Tang brand and I was standing with a friend of mine I was saying, what's your favourite Wu-Tang rapper <laughs> ODB is uh, the only thing I, I you know, uh, he, he's an ODB fan yeah, but yeah. The, the most of the people didn't even know what Wu-Tang is it's uh, a, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's a cool, cool logo yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it is it's is, it is, <laughs> outstanding <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, this is kind of like this, this goes crazy I, I kind of like that hip-hop got into the pop culture so it's not not the mm. music that comes out from the ghetto from these yeah, guys, yeah. but um, what what I don't like big. is that it's everywhere, and you you have on a fucking birthday song you have rap lyrics. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. the the UK rap that's coming up, that's the more sort of commercial side of it, isn't actually cheesy in in the sense like like Dave oh, yeah. from Streatham is like actually he's yeah. quite yeah the choruses aren't my cup of tea, but well, Stra- Dave is like he's got like um. He's he's got like they're quite quite conscious lyrics, man. Like really, mm, compared to some of the others. Certainly. Yeah, but they're not charting though. He's yeah, like yeah. he's getting number one after number one. Yeah, like yeah. kind of conscious rap, a couple of love songs or whatever. But it's like con- he's he's dope actually. I, swear, I, um, I haven't heard any of. I, uh, <laughs> I asked you that last time. Um, the, the, my only connection to the to the UK rap scene is Tenchu. Oh yeah, he's yeah, great, yeah, man. Yeah. He's um, yeah. to me and he's he's a dope freestyler. Um, um, he was. Often he was on, on like like radio shows yeah. that were filmed. Yeah, not not podcasts, not just radio shows where yeah. he was performing his shit live, or, or on, on the radio and got filmed yeah. by that. And this was the most impressive, more, more impressive than his songs. Peace uh, to my bro, attention yeah. by the way. Yeah. Yeah. But but um, he's like a robot when 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 he oh, was in crazy. Yeah. And, uh, I was always like, damn man, if he didn't have that accent, maybe people would <laughs> understand. And yeah, it, it he's had, one of the best I, battle rappers that ever come out, and one of the best really like I put him in the same box as like a cannabis, you know, like he's just a bar, he could just got bars for days, you know, like he's like an ag- he's an animal, like but if he like you say if he had an American accent he'd be top top tier, he'd be classed as one mm. American goat sort of. You thing. know what I think though with sort of our sort of scene and what we do, and I suppose we send what uh, I don't want to sort of start saying about anyone else, but I, swear, I think like we're not trendy or cool like we ain't we, we sort of like put ourselves down we say oh yeah we're a fucking piece of shit go out and get pissed and all that business mm. like, no talk to res- yourself man i'm no, well cool man. no one wants to aspire boy. to that do they they want to be like you know i've got this money and cars and shit and um, yeah but t- <laughs> to be honest i i, I tried to uh, to get them here with you mm. yeah so you would be the secret life act yeah we'll, we'll push uh, for the next year man because but Strokes uh, has been chatting to him, so hopefully we get something on the label. And then you have a connection because uh, one of your producers is yeah, yeah, yeah. and this is uh, yeah. man, this is everything that this guy is touching yeah. is a fucking fire, man. <laughs> so yeah, well, it's, for, it's two fire them, for, for for people like us, like like the nineties mm. boom bap era, uh, yeah. like people. It's so a, so if it moves for and and he does. There's two, but there, there are two of them. It's a crew. It all moves for it's two people. Okay, okay, it's yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, it's done. Yeah. And, no, but but the, the sick beats, man. Yeah, and he's, yeah. he's always doing shit with them, and I saw yeah, yeah, yeah do, you did too, and this is the the, the most awesome. Yeah, the, this is how it should sound like. If if anybody yeah. asks you what what's hip hop music like, you yeah, you yeah. would show him like. But I think one of that's, his songs. that's my favorite thing he's done because I think working with that one producer. I, I like working with a single producer on an album. Like I did one album where it was a bit of everyone, you know. 
it was all right, I suppose. But yeah, I think having that consistency of one one producer throughout it just makes it. Hundred percent, especially them because thing. they're out the box as well. Like mm. they're the, they're like um, they they they're not so afraid to push boundaries with their drums or their samples. Everything know? they do as well, they're, it's always got a certain standard. They yeah, like, it'll be brutal as well. This like. is, um, when 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 it comes to producing. Sometimes I'm I'm angry at myself that I never learned how to make beats because yeah. I think yeah, I got lyrics in my mind, man. And if somebody had that someone. beat, man, yeah. then yeah, then, yeah, then yeah. I would would do it like this. And so so most of the times I want to have the beat before I write my lyrics. Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because it, it 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 gives you the drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To 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 write that shit that you write because it gets you in the mood and. And, mm. and shit, uh, is it is it similar? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Usually, right, right to a beat. That's for because they always yeah. You've got to write it slightly differently in it, and you know, you might add very an extra syllable if it, it's yeah. like got a yeah weird sort of flow to it and that. But um, yeah, I don't know, it would be interesting. I think like, we do only like, really work with soul producers anyway. Like yeah, all, all yeah. of your proper solo stuff is with soul producers. My my new stuff is with one producer. Um, Bat Night is with one producer. Yeah. I think we we like to lock in with that one sound. You know, get all the beats hit and right to them. Yeah, yeah. get them all. I think it's I think that's the way to do it, man. Um, I thought so too, but uh, when I did an album with Raymond, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sitting over there. <laughs> Uh, we learn, <laughs> learn to love and hate each other more than of course, yeah, of, course, of course. But I think that's good when you can have them arguments and then that's bonding, though, isn't it? Like if um, like you don't want yes men around, Joe. You want someone to say like, "Nah, oh, shit, I'll do that again." But <laughs> it's not, no good. We've been harsh on your new album as yeah, well. Yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, um, you, you were talking about the the, the battle shit uh, Tenchu was doing, and then uh, there was don't flop. Yeah, uh, like yeah, like yeah. a huge uh, worldwide battle scene. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, and they kind of like fucked themselves up. I don't know yeah, what, what exactly happened, but uh, but in in Germany, then uh, Jamie uh, Jolly J, oh, uh, they don't let the label yeah. label you. Yeah. And uh, this is uh, the the most recognized uh, one of the most recognized German battle rap scenes. Yeah. So he he did just yeah, this don't flop shit is dope. Mm. Uh, let's translate it to German yeah, 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 basically, yeah. and 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 mm. it works and. Uh, did, did you ever participate in any of these battles? No, no. I went once. No. I, 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 I ain't a fan of that, man, I'm going to be honest. I, I, I see it like, um, I know, the, like, the difference between football and just doing like keep you up here and that. It's a good trick and, you know, it's good for honing your skills and that, but it's a completely different game. And I don't not all of them make a, great music, yeah, innit? Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. They don't, don't, it's two different worlds, you know. Yeah, like yeah. I, I'm not a fan of it. I think it uh, is, for me, I, I think I find, I find it quite cringy. There are artists in there amongst yeah, them that, yeah. that really are locked in and great, brilliant, love I it. Find, yeah, I, I, but I it nine times out of ten, man, I'm not I just. I, I'm just not into it. When I was younger, I used to watch yeah. um, Jump Off and all of yeah, that. Yeah, um, yeah. But with I think they started like people would be like researching each other, like rather than being a test of like lyrical abilities. Be who can dig the most dirt on each other, and it'll be like, Oh, your nan's brother is a crackhead or something. Uh, let me, let me uh, like? look in there, baby, because I think the, the, the people that win battles are not the most top lyricists. Yeah, no, they are uh, the show me, better show ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah they, they, they are good actors yeah, or yeah, yeah. making good mother jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like and, that's yeah, yeah. I, and that's how I see it. There so obviously you do like get Tony D and Tenchu. T- Tony and D's dope, Tenchu's dope, dope, Lunacy's dope. Yeah. There are, and Lunacy makes, has made great music out of it. Um, and so is Tony D. Um, Joker Star as well. Do you know what I mean? There's yeah. like, there are artists that, that have made um, um, so many, man. There yeah. are so many. Do you know what I mean? Um, Kets, all of them. Do you when, know what when, I mean? when it comes to battle rap, what, what about freestyle on, on beat? Like, like it's used to yeah. be. It's but like, I'm glad you, you read like, shit like in, 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 the, in the internet, it's uh, the, the biggest source of bullshit, man. And it's like, yeah, they're rapping on beats, that's dope. And isn't that what, how it's supposed to yeah, be? Yeah, is that rapper rapping about rapping about but, yeah, 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 that's, but like, I, it's I'm music. glad they stripped the beats away, and I'm glad it's not freestyle anymore. It makes it way more bearable. <laughs> the freestyle raps is just like well, I think that's something you need to be there it's not something you yeah. film and watch it's a live thing like when you're there in the flesh and someone comes out of a yeah freestyling is about you're in the moment and it's when, if we're all here someone's freestyling and then like someone's freestyling and starts cutting toast yeah like that's <laughs> jokes but if yeah, I was yeah. to watch it back on camera I'd be like 
those jokes are shit. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> but you have to be. If you're, if you're there, it was like the sickest shit ever. Like, yeah. but yeah, you're right. You're right. But I'm glad that it's all written now. You know, like because the written is a bit better, but it's still not to, I to my taste. I prefer the uh, end of the week and that because it's a bit more varied. It's not just end of the week. Yeah, yeah, interesting someone. that you are the first one uh, except me who uh, uh, says oh, yeah. end of the week. That, that, that this was kind of like. Find out who is the all-round MC. You yeah, have yeah. to participate in five disciplines mm, yeah. of, of rap. And, and that's like wicked, the, man. You, you have to uh, have written bars yeah. uh, with your own beat. You have to do an a cappella. Yeah. You you have to freestyle and grab the DJ. Bad, yeah. a trade off. The like. DJ tries yeah, to fuck yeah, you yeah. up, <laughs> and, and and then the five uh, the fifth round is is. is the battle mode. Yeah, I, I like that. I love yeah, yeah. that because there uh, I could win. Because yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. like, <laughs> that's the past mic. Like, yeah, I think I think end of the week and shouts to G Bag man. Three yeah. times U UK champ. Uh, like. Stick yeah. stick off the dump. Yeah, stick it, was good. Oh, bro. stick. Yeah, 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 yeah. he's yeah. sick. Man, this yeah. is where we uh, got to know each other. I don't know if you know that, but we were in Brixton. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And we drank a beer. That was, uh, and I, that was a good that, 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 uh, you, you didn't know <laughs> that time <laughs> what my voice, but, but but that was the first time I, I met you. I remember we spoke on the internet after that. Um, one of my old profiles, so I kept getting kicked off uh, Facebook for, <laughs> for taking the piss. Yeah, yeah. Out you, 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 uh, you 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 edit uh, me and a, and a friend on Facebook. Mm. He's by the way one of your biggest fans because the first <laughs> song we uh, we heard was Big Drinking. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. And they're just <laughs> and they're just like. <laughs> Just in English, yeah. <laughs> like, like kind of that. So there, there is a connection, an international connection. If you do that hip hop shit, yeah. that, mm. that um, underground hip hop shit, that real shit, it, it is always the same, and, and you don't even need to speak the language. No, so why too. is it? Um, if if you talk about accents or, or, or shit like that, why why don't uh, people listen to 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 more UK rap? What? Then, then, mm. they, then they should. I, I don't get it. I, I really don't get it. So, so let yeah. let them talk t uh, twenty minutes with you, <laughs> and they got your accent. So what the fuck, man? I um, but then I'm I think all, everybody is used to, to to the American English, but yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. it's not so hard to, well, to get. I think the, the English other. accent is quite harsh on the ears. I don't think it's like easy but listening. Well, like, you can't quality. expect people who watch like well, you can say things like Love Island and Celebrity, whatever. Like all these sort of crappy sort of reality TV shows, like people that are into that aren't going to be into underground hip hop with like, you know, they, they don't care what you're trying to say. That they, they just want something really fucking simple and basic that they can just you know. regurgitate. <laughs> yeah. Whereas like you know what you're saying, like you you can hear that it doesn't matter what language, like big drinking or whatever. Like we used to listen to like Dark Circle, for instance, which is a yeah, UK yeah. group, but they're not from the UK, but uh, they no. were based in the UK. One one was like uh, Arnik is from where? Are they both, they're both German, but oh, uh, are they? He, he's uh, he's in Iceland. Hoika Hoika is German, and Hoik spits half of his bars in German. I didn't know what the fuck he's saying, <laughs> but <laughs> so wigging out to that cool, shit. Yeah, yeah. It sounded banging, and that was the soundtrack to like my two thousand and seven or something. Like whenever I whatever it comes out. Older than that, man. But, but, but I was bumping it late though, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. And uh, I just honestly I didn't take it off. And um, I didn't know what the fuck they were saying. There, there, there's one girl um, rapping in French, Kenny Akana. I don't know if you, yeah. if you know oh, her. Okay. I, I don't understand any word in French. <laughs> I mean, really, I don't, I don't understand. But he's bon uh, standing in front it. of cop cars and throwing Molotov cocktails. You, yeah, know, yeah. When, uh, you don't need to understand yeah, what yeah, 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 yeah. it is. It's, it's just radical. <laughs> French yeah. rap from a girl, and you're they're like, what? Who's that French guy? Yeah. John, that um, Plug put you on to? Uh, uh, Booba. Booba. Yeah, he, he's sick, man. He's got sick videos and all that. He's dope, yeah. but I don't, again, don't know what he's saying yeah. from his videos. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's dope, though, man. I think there are um, a lot of deeper in, in the kind of way that when, when we come. Um, from the suburbs of, of Paris oh, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and rapping about that shit and it's really harsh. Oh, that's quite a good accent. That's, that's well, like no, the ghetto no. shit where it comes from. So um, mm. I grew up in a good family and shit and yeah. I chose that kind of lifestyle. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't know for, for, for good or worse, but mm. uh, it was my choice. And uh, most of the people who I listened to didn't have the choice. Yeah, uh, I listened to lyrics where, where I know, but man, damn, that, but that saved their lives. Yeah, that's mm. a shit. And yeah. uh, could you could you say that um, from your own music? Did your music save <laughs> your life? I, I ruined my life. Yeah, I grew up in like a fairly good ha house, a single parent household. But like, I grew up into grime, something that 
this completely unrelatable lifestyle to <laughs> what I grew up with. Do you know what I mean? Grew up with a few punch ups, but nothing like what grime is about. Do you know what I mean? But that's what I grew up. I didn't even know like that, like because then obviously when I got into UK hip hop, it was so more relatable as in what it was about. So when I met his brother, I, I was like, I thought I was the only, because I started rapping on like UK beats, or American beats, I was rapping on American beats, but I thought I was the only UK artist to do it. Because all before that, I'd only ever heard of grandma do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I never even knew there was artists. As, cause nah. it, by the time I met Jack, Jack was like, oh, listen to Verb T, Back to Basics, listen to Jess Falling Down. So I'd hear in these albums, like, manage vibe in process, I'm like, what I didn't I, I, I was like I thought I was the only one doing this you know and I was like, yeah yeah burst my bubble and then but then it was so relatable you know like proper like then I listened to like get onto your wordsmiths and all that and I really relate to like what they're saying your managers and stuff like proper like yeah. just, like the little South London rap, yeah. Yeah, yeah like and I was like, like, I thought, I honestly thought I was the only one. Jack was like, no, mate, sorry, yeah, you're not the only yeah, one. Yeah, you're not special. Yeah, mate. you're not special. <laughs> <laughs> it's one thing I. I uh, was talking about DJs before that did music differently, yeah. and you uh, are dropping a lot of shit on vinyl. Yeah, yeah and there was yeah. there was a post. I don't know if if it was a joke, but uh, <laughs> you you wanted to, to to get money for your wedding or shit. Like oh that. yeah, yeah, that was, that's is that, quite was that true? One. Was that, is that yeah, true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. It, well, I mean, it didn't raise no no money. No like, money. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I might have bought a couple of sausage rolls. Or something, <laughs> but, like, no, no, that was the aim. You know, just in the, in the vague hope that it might have. Uh, yeah got big or something but nah yeah he was just around that time bought around the drinks yeah, so yeah I bought around the drinks off it yeah just about covered my costs <laughs> <laughs> but um what, what, what the point is is uh the, the vinyl dropping because yeah. um, it's oh, kind that, of that expensive can... and you, you have to oh, yeah, get yeah. um the, well that one was cd that was cd but how would you say um could could you live from your rap music no, 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 I mean, I know people that do, but I, I think... Um, Not quite. I, I can't, I, I don't know, like... I'm, it recoups I'm every now. time, isn't it? And that's the main thing mm. for us. It, it, there's never been a time it's not recouped. So that's the main thing. If we get in, yeah. we get back and some what we put in. It's more about but it but fun, we yeah. put all of it back in, you know? So like one album, now we'll fund two. So now we bring G-Bag in, you know? Or we bring Ollie Sudden in. So yeah. our album, we we'll now pay for it. No, nah, we just, money, we, we, so we, we let it keep growing. So that, then them two mm. albums make four albums and four albums will make eight albums and just keep it rolling because we want to be like... We, I'm sure we, we could, you know, like if, if you really sort of put everything into it and, you know, I mean, it's your full-time thing. You could make enough money to just about get by, but, tip, yeah, but, but London is so not, expensive. Yeah, you wouldn't like, be having yeah, a quality yeah, of life, yeah, I don't yeah, think. Yeah, uh, I come to beer prices later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no. It's like, um, if you if you get booked like to our place, you mm. don't get much out of it. No. If you get yeah. booked for a better, uh, you get the, the, the fifth time the pay. Yeah. But uh, you you don't better every week, so no, yeah, 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 that yeah. doesn't uh, pay if, the yeah, cost. The hourly, the hourly so, rate is good, but you know I, you need to be guaranteed a certain amount, and I'm not really looking to. Yeah. Uh, no, I like, no, I like my job's too good to, to be quitting. Do you know what I mean? I've said it before that um, we got a guy downstroke who he, he does all the artwork for us. Like if if anyone was going to quit their job, it would be him. I'd make sure he was nice <laughs> stuff. He can do he, everything. Yeah, he because like, he can do he everything. He's, he's he pulls shit together, do you know what I mean? Like, there'd be no reborg without him, me, Toast, and Downstroke, like, do you know what I mean? It's like, well, and the artists that work with us and help us build, you know? But, I mean, like, he would be our first one because he's already self-employed doing artwork. So, if I could make his job full-time, it'd be great, but maybe in a few years, you know? Like, we're, we're, we're yeah, trying yeah, to build yeah, from yeah, the ground yeah. up, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, but this is this is what hip-hop does. It's, it's built up from the ground anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, when, when I first recorded, it was... Everything was broken. The mic was broken. Oh, yeah, the, yeah. The, the mix shit was. I don't yeah. know, man. Every cable we, was broken, but we, we, we still managed to, <laughs> to, to to record our songs. So, and it, uh, after twenty years, okay, it uh, should mm. step up yeah. a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Well, so, my first original um, tunes were recorded through headphones into onto, into onto cassette tape. Yeah, and then you would take the tape, tape. and put it on a mini disc. <laughs> 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 it was like crazy, and then you, and then your pal would ask for a copy, and you record the tape onto the tape, bro. Long like dead shit, man. Dead. <laughs> yeah, but kind kind of like that shit. That there was. You do have to see bottles around me. My, my my friend and me just rapping in the underground in the cellar from his mom yeah, man, yeah. and I tell him about 
fucking gay people <laughs> up and then he was like, yo, how you wanna do this? The mom, the mom listened and came into the room and he, oh, what do you, how you wanna do this? How you wanna fuck big gay, gay people up? And we were like, shit, man, maybe, maybe, maybe we shouldn't write shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely, probably, you definitely shouldn't write shit like that, maybe. That's a, yeah. Yeah. Bit of a sore, sore topic, maybe, like, if people be listening and go, wait, yeah. oh, I'm not buying into this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cancelled. Yeah, cancelled. <laughs> cancelled culture is out. Yeah, no, not good topics. But no, we used to like when um, when when obviously uh, at college time with his brother was recording at my mum's house. You know what I mean? This uh, tune that we put put out with Maestro, the seven inch we put out with uh, My Stiggy now, but um, that that was recorded in at my mum's house. Recording in some the mic booth was in my mum's wardrobe. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? we had to stop recording for a bit when your sister was born. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, saw, I saw my mom's, I don't know, um, the, the, the strips, you know? Yeah. I, I saw oh, that the, to, to make a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Done yeah, all yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and this, is, this is how we were recording and we, we, we thought, that what the shit, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then it, and it grew People up, up and grew up and grew up and grew up and grew anybody do you get connections anybody around you got mm. got a got a studio and um i find it impressive that you uh, always put out a vinyl yeah we try more recently yeah, 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 i, I yeah, think yeah. as well like no one really buys cds anymore like we put out some tapes now and then as well because like, people seem to like them as an item yeah like, like, no one it's more of a collectible, collectible but they just look quite cool yeah. but the, the vinyl <laughs> the vinyl dropping is definitely um is it's it, people buy it's a very different uh, type of fan isn't it do you know what i mean because they're for the, the old, the, the the real heads, you know, will buy the vinyl. A lot of people yeah. probably won't open people it don't, People it. don't buy CDs anymore. I think, anymore, I think more so people are buying well. vinyl than CDs. Oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah. thousand percent. Yeah. No, nobody wants a, I don't want to have a CD. But I don't what even I have do a CD. Man, this shit, man, 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 I don't have a CD. This is a CD. It <laughs> might as well be digital because... Um, I, I was, I was thinking part. about releasing shit on a stick. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I realized somebody did that already. It was Apathy. Oh, but yeah, it, yeah. it uh, didn't work out. No. Uh, so and I think um, because you can get the cassettes that that pull out with the the memory chip on it. As yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Know. Somebody told me about that yesterday. I don't know who, but um, that 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 that's interesting. You get a cassette, mm. so 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 you get oh, your retro feeling or whatever. <laughs> but you can pull the, the the MP3 stick out yeah, yeah. and put it plug it in your in your PC. Yeah, so yeah. that's good. We do do little SD cards. You can put them straight in the phone, then, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, and then that's it. You've got it. <laughs> Because the thing is now, like everyone's on Spotify and Apple Music or whatever. I'm the digital Spotify? age. <laughs> this digital age, man, is beyond me, man. Like I'm, I struggle to keep uh, yeah. up with it. I'm using. I'm like, how do I claim my artist page? I'm like an old man on the phone. Like, how do I do that, mate? Like, I don't yeah. know. It's, um, <laughs> mom, no. Like, like uh, on, on this, on this, all of these episodes, I was talking a lot about battle rap, and I tried to, to mm. get to music. And if it comes to music, all these battle rappers. I hate it, but 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 really hate it. Yeah. Even if the song isn't really? bad, because they're just yeah. not bad rapping. The good tune's just, a good uh, tune, man. Like, and and yeah. this is this is kind of like crazy. Is uh, there's something similar in the UK? So so, so when you are a good battle rapper, but uh, you, you make a soft song, mm. and, 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 yeah, this shit is wet. Why, why man? I, d- I don't get why it's. I, I look, I, I look like it like 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 a like a boxing pro or shit like that, and no nobody runs around and punches everybody in the face like yeah 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 i see what you're saying yeah. well my, my thoughts was it is is that the battle fans have got their own fans so they, they only want to hear battles that's it yeah. that, when it comes down to it they're not hip-hop fans they're battle fans some of them are like i'm not saying but it's like a subculture a big chunk, yeah. inside the culture yeah. exactly that so like so when they hear their rap their, their battle rapper drop a tune like they're like What's this? But there are people like mm. Verb T. He's battled, and he drops yeah. he drops albums up, like good albums. There's Lee Scott is battled, and he makes good yeah. albums. But, but, like. but so if you if you say you can live from that, why are you still doing it? Why you put all your effort in it? I I saw your videos. They're, they're kind of like some like big drinking yeah. is like, like like yeah it's having fun it's and a quality that life, shit. and um uh, some some quality stuff there. Uh, yeah. Where you see, do you do you plan your own videos? 
Mostly, yeah. yeah. We do them yeah. all like, in Well, house. some we don't plan, like, we just do it as a. Yeah. All our videos Shoot are in house. Yeah, we've got the new video, I don't know if you see it, where we. Um, that was planned. Yeah, that was planned. Weird. We planned that where we where we caved that girl's head in with the back. <laughs> 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 That's Catherine North. Shout out to Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> Join us. We had to cut some of it because it looked gory. Like. Yeah, we yeah, we yeah. used a blow up sex doll and fucking a melon and yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a fake blood, and it looked gory, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love that because we we just. We just shot a video in the in the woods mm. when it was dark with with like ghost shit and trying to not not like Blair Witch Project but yeah, with yeah. that stick puppets and and yeah, shit yeah, like yeah, 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 from yeah. the trees and it was so much effort we put into yeah. this and then it was four hour shot and we we are still sitting in front of the material and like what the fuck yeah, what the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing all that shit by ourselves if you. I, I would like to give it to some other guy, but yeah. I I'm scared yeah, that yeah. he could fuck it up. Yeah, so yeah. That, you don't want to really hand over <laughs> control of your your baby in it. We literally <laughs> do all of it in house, and like yeah. it's because I, I guess I don't know. Like we love the creative control. Like like you say, when we done that Bat Night video, like all the shots, like we gave it to the one person. Like it was either going to be toast to edit it or downstroke, and like because we knew that the vision had to be complete. You know. Like yeah. that, the, my vision that come from my head had to go into the editing. If we outsourced it and I just explained my idea to someone and then they filmed it and ran away with it, mm. we might yeah. not been happy with the end product, you know. I'm 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 like most of my videos are basically legal, so we yeah, yeah. break into some places yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah. are lost <laughs> and they, that look <laughs> fucked up mm. and then yeah, yeah, they yeah. do our shots and our rapid scenes and mm. this was it was a more planned one. Yeah. So um. I like to have the, the, the full control over that and um, with this short term internet shit my, my song would be too long because it's over three minutes and uh, yeah. there's a, no one has that attention there, no one has that like, no, no, people no, no, want one minute uh, Instagram and it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's really crazy two, two and a half uh, minutes it's uh, basically it's a, the, the standard uh, yes, how yeah. much people are able to listen to 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 music? So attention spans have got decreased that, that so, much. Um, Think back when, like, yeah, say, like a Pink Floyd tune is like eight, nine, twelve yeah, minutes yeah, long, yeah. Like, <laughs> long, like, like, yeah. that, like that shit. And and then look at let, look at the songs that, that that come out now. They are already made for yeah. this for, for yeah. this short term because you are Spotify, uh, YouTube, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Click get click, the stream, click, the stream, click, stream, yeah, stream, yeah, stream, yeah, stream, yeah, stream. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but there's a, dreams, like, yeah. there's a chick called Summer Walker, yeah, she's a singer from America, she's dope, man. And um, like one of her tunes is banger, but it's like one minute 30 long. <laughs> and it's a banger. And then the thing is, then it's I hit snippet, reload. Man, yeah, it's a snippet, tune. that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's jarring. I wanted three minutes of that, four minutes of it, but it's one minute 30 seconds. You can't be asked to write the rest of it. Isn't Probably, it? but it's dope, yeah. though, man. I just like, do that Pro Feed, actually. Like, so, uh, I can't remember what the tune was called. I wrote a couple of verses. And I just didn't like the second, and no matter what I did, I could not get the second right, so I just cut it off, made it like a minute and a half long. Yeah, but that's one chip, that, that's nothing. Like yeah, one yeah, I thought it was like a little, like, uh, but what that, do you call it, a skit or something. But, no. um, that, that's in, if you if you fuck up your show, when, when, when you don't yeah. mind, that's when you why I'm not smoking, and, uh, yeah. before show I can't <laughs> smoke, I, I, I love to smoke, yeah, but yeah, uh, a bit drunk I, I, I don't like remember it. my shit, yeah. man, it's, it, it's really... I'm known for this. Really yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he, he is known for this. And the thing is, like, uh, uh, my, my brain don't remember bars, like, so I record the music, we get mixed, get mastered, put it out, and then we then it's only when we're like, what should we perform? Then I go back and learn it. So I never, like... Make the, it and forget about it. Yeah, I make it for, like forget about it. I put it out, listen yeah. to it a couple of times, yeah, done. Make it, move on I the fucked next up week. one time where we, we shot a video clip for, for one of the songs with yeah. three guys, and I was like, if I ever fuck up this part, everyone gets 20 beers. <laughs> <laughs> and I fucked up, man, and I was like, no, man, you can't not remember that <laughs> shit when you listen to it a thousand times, you were cutting it and, and shit like that. So, um, this is. When it comes to battle rapping, the choking. Well, yeah, it's it, important. That this it. is. Um, I, I did two last battle. I, yeah. I choked, but that wasn't even the important point. But it should be, you know. If you fuck up your lyrics, you're done, man. Yeah, yeah. If the other well, guy that's, uh, the, uh, kills that's you. That's major, like point deduction, man. Like if, if I do watch, <laughs> if I do watch a battle and someone like 
like fucks it up badly mm. and then they keep going back trying to recite the lines uh, before it uh, and go again and then go again and oh, then it, 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 oh cannabis really isn't good. it cannabis wrapped from his pad um yeah. In, 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 uh, yeah yeah he wrapped on his pad um uh, against disaster but disaster did it better in germany and he read from his phone no he did way the same shit is it on, ca- is it on film shit. yeah it's on film it uh, comes out in two weeks I find him a bit well, corny was, that guy was like, yeah, Berlin, uh, uh, yeah. at the don't let, le- let the label label you battle yeah, yeah. He, he looked at his phone and he won't stop rapping and it was just you, you I, I wasn't uh, there at the mm. event I, I just watched it on uh, pay per view yeah. but it was like oh, please stop please yeah. just stop See, that's oh, crazy yeah. they got pay per view and, and he doesn't uh, but there were so many guys falling just down in the in the audience yeah, yeah. so <laughs> one, one guy the last guy fell down that was five battles and six di- guys died like that <laughs> and the thing is like <laughs> someone of his caliber that, that, that no wouldn't way. have happened i think he would have never stopped rapping bullshit you know <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it was it, it was not like yeah that, that's bars it's like damn he choked and he wanted to <laughs> come back but he didn't yeah. see he yeah. was like but damn stop that's stop. someone of his caliber what he would be seen as that top tier in it worldwide yeah, top definitely tier. like he's in that like i haven't seen the film bodied he's in that any like he's in like a hollywood blockbuster film and like there's no excuse for him to to <laughs> to to read off his phone at the end of the day he's been paid for a it's good performance mind. it's your job in it like if, if everyone has a bad day but it's your job you can't can't have a but you can't turn up and perform my job. That's Every what I'm talking day. about. Yeah. Maybe, maybe yeah. as a like, <laughs> I sleep at my job. <laughs> he, it's, it's like he, he doesn't take it seriously because maybe he thinks uh, nobody yeah, understands yeah. what shit I'm talking if about. If I was a promoter, I'd have been insulted, like fully insulted. Like that. So mm. It's, it's kind of like like that. And if, 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 like I said, a top tier like that is is choking in the battle rap and does the same shit that was done to him in the cannabis yeah. battle. Come on, man! No, he his own man. hat, and he can't, he can't ever bring that up again. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I do feel like that arena, like you've got, like as much as it ain't, ain't me, you've got. That's the next breed of, like, if you can that's just, skill, man. Yeah, yeah, well, I, I don't think I could stand there and just someone shout mum jokes at me. No, I, do, no. I, I would. My, yeah, that's what I mean. My, <laughs> my, my <laughs> fuse is too short for that. Like to be to, to your mum's an ugly cunt. I'd be like, what? <laughs> 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 Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you can't yeah. say that about my mum. <laughs> She's lovely. I love my mum. That's my mum. Exactly. I understand that because a lot of people I know who would make perfect better rappers, but they say when, when we talk about my mum, I punch him. So <laughs> yeah. I, that's not my thing. Yeah. And if, if I'm doing this shit, it's like I don't even. I don't listen to nah, that nah, guy, nah. man. It's like you build a wall. Around you put a wall up, yeah. 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 Now, take my hat off to anyone that can do it. Like, but for me, it's, just, it's all about the music. Like, I wish mm. I like a lot of the time. It's more the delivery and stuff. It's like that makes me cringe a lot, you know. Yeah, but like, like I flow, said, there are flow, flow, is it? It's more like a sort of like almost like theatre sort of like. It like, is. Like, it is. Yeah. Like, announcing it like some fucking old fucking it, stage it, it actor is. and shit. It's but, not like, just, but when you do yeah. watch like a when you do watch people at that are A1 at their game. They are they can be enjoyable because it's smarter, they're using a bit more wordplay, they're, yeah. they're more lyrical artists. But but then yeah. the top tier guys actually can make music as well. I don't have time to be right. No. <laughs> but, but, um, that, that's an interesting <laughs> point too. The, the, the top tier battle rappers make whack songs, man. man. Yeah. This, 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 is a, this is just a fact. It's a, a German battle rap and in uh, the U, uh, US and UK scene, it's the, the, if you listen to the songs, you're like, what the fuck is yeah, that yeah, shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you did you ever get that four bars shit? Yeah, you know? yeah. well, it's, it's, that would be amazing <laughs> then that someone like can write something so lyrical, but then just won't be able to do it on a beat. Yeah, but if you get so used to delivering it a certain way, like because I couldn't probably do that battle rap delivery because I'm too used to going over beats. So when I tr- still try and rap it as a as a verse, isn't it? Yeah, not it's all about pause. I wouldn't leave that pause because you um, you're playing out every syllable, isn't it? Like so, you know, yeah, this is where I breathe and that's where I come in. But where, you know, I suppose you've got to sort of 
leave the leave that little pause for your reaction and all that shit. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you saw Mexa yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Imagine that guy standing in front of you in battle <laughs> rap and you wouldn't say a fucking word, man. But he won't do battle rap, he just doing music. So yeah, yeah. so this is his thing. But the yeah. thing is he does what he does well, isn't it? So he's not gonna step into an arena where he's not as good as what he because him performing obviously I don't understand what he's saying but it sounded fucking dope like do you know what I mean yeah, he yeah. had the flow he had the live show he had it on smash yeah I, I will listen to he, he gave us a vinyl in it so we 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 spin that and then um, but I can't I, no, I can't remember really. I'm sure someone gave us a vinyl. I don't know if you know if it's him. Yeah, but no, you say this until it come back to me. Oh yeah, I did get a vinyl. But he, him to step into battle rap and then lose, he could lose credibility. You know, like because if he if he didn't wasn't as good, then people ain't gonna fuck with his music neither. Do you know what I mean? So it's a big sacrifice to make. Um, what 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 I realized? No, nobody is interested in your music, whether you're a battle rapper or not. So, um, uh, my, 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 yeah, rap. that's true, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah it's true, it's true. That's, that's, that's the crazy shit, and, and that is what I, what, what I realized with Tenchu. Tenchu's battles have thousands, millions of clicks, mm. yeah, but yeah, his yeah. songs like 500, and you're like, what yeah, the fuck? yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, but, and, but for me, Tenchu was an MC before he was a battle rapper, yeah. um, and he managed to just transfer that. He's one of a few that can transfer both skills. Um, because his album Scary Movies, which is his first album, um, I, I think that's good, man. Like, I think for what of that time, obviously, if I play it back now, it might not be. But of that time when I heard it, I don't think I skipped a tune. And he I, got and me. He got me with, with one bar. My insane brain is an entrance to an unsafe chaos dimension, and I was like, yeah. okay. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> it just sounds fucking sick. Yeah. Jam back to hits me with them when I go, what yeah, the fuck yeah, does yeah. he mean? It sounded great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and sometimes you have shit like that, you don't even know what it means, but it goes so deep because you hit you and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that really moment, that's that's everything and nothing about. made sense. But that's that shit that I was talking about my whole life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't express it in words. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and sometimes dope. better rappers do it in one one bar and uh, other times uh, completely like like you drop vinyls they get mm. more and more and more ignored yeah. um, like if you if you would do a battle maybe 50,000 people would watch it but nobody would listen to your music no 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 it's, it's, it's a non-transferable skill like, I think you need to do it for genre. a bit get, get your name up and then get out because if you stay in, in that too long you end up getting a bit typecast yeah yeah you do yeah. this you, you, no, you're a musician you do this you but that's box, that's where I think like, box, so. Verb T come out of it well Verb T was OG before that yeah, Lee Scott yeah. as well he was he was kind of OG before it but <clears> he like they well, came in good because he, he, he done it for a bit and then he he left. Got out. No, yeah, I, I don't, don't know if he's back him, in it. I don't think of him as a battle rapper. I think of him as someone who. I see him as an rapper, artist. Yeah, yeah. I just see him as an animal MC. Like. What, 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 what you got to appreciate what the, what the battle scene uh, brings into the game. What what mm. music doesn't is uh, the internationality. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, people meet each other in different countries and battle yeah. each other in in different languages or whatever yeah. in English. People who would never rap in English. Yeah, do that uh, yeah, to better the that side. But that is why I like yeah, end of the week. Kind of like, like, yeah. That's well, that's why I think. We got a cup through end of the week. Oh yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. won that, and we end up going out there on Tobacco G. Uh, G bag when he did he did the final over in Prague. We up with, like, some of their promoters there. And in in German, you would say Mittel zum Zweck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't I don't know how uh, to express this uh, uh, in English, but it's um it's like the 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 mechanics work to bring it to the point and then the point is not the battling yeah, but yeah. the connection yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the means not not the end yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's what, what what I always felt like I always mm. wanted to connect it to people uh, and, and, and listen to their shit Re really listen and it, if it's uh, I punch you in your face it's okay you know what I mean it's, <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, this, this, yeah. Is, this is all good it's all good because uh, for me it's kind of like like a job where you can express yourself like like just how you are you can mm. just yeah we're sitting here and it looks fucked up and, it's <laughs> a, and you can rap that and rhyme that and it's a good song if you do it well 100%. and these guys only they only have some this punchline skill and yeah, this is yeah, where yeah, they yeah, fuck yeah. you up well, they got two bars mm. they're funny yeah and i got two bars that are evil Two bars funny, two bars evil, two bars funny, and then you're done. I know, but a lot of the time as well, you can read a setup, you know, like they'll rhyme something really basic to have a hard punchline. And yeah. almost you can, 
like their setup, you can read it. It's like predictable yeah. sometimes, and especially the way they deliver it, you might not have read it over a beat, but like if in the battles, yeah, and that, yeah, you can yeah, almost yeah. build up with it. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, and like the way it's delivered is like man maybe maybe may, may, may the last thing we, we, uh, I, I want to come back to the vinyl dropping yeah, because yeah. Um, why would you do that if you don't get the intention the uh, attention from from people that you should do so why why what what's your motivation to do that and put putting out vinyls like the yeah. uh, like the real deal we, like hip hop yeah, should be you we, know? we don't struggle with the sales if I'm honest with you I like, don't know. That some, when we've done our bigger runs, they take a little while. Yeah, the shift, bigger runs, but but, but we've been more in a comfortable ground now. We've it's just, just learned better, though. Like, it's just better to have your music on vinyl because that's how it should. Like it's your music is carved into something physical. And it's it, forever. And the artwork it? it's forever. Looks sick on a big twelve-inch fucking record. It's it? forever, it's, but so. it's still like it, it, like just we, we're pressing slightly smaller numbers now. We know our limits, so. We're not overdoing it now, but within a week, over fifty percent of the stock's gone. Um, so it's not like it's not like we struggle. Like it, it, like the yeah. thing is, you got hustle towards yeah. the end, but like we're still in the build up and it's flying. Like that, like more like more so than actually what I would have thought. Um, but the vinyl stuff, I feel like we may as well do it properly because it's forever. I buy vinyl, I collect vinyl, mm. and I yeah, want my music to go. Though, it? But yeah, vinyl, it's coming back because. CDs and uh, like, like, like I said, it's a, a, a kind of like a collector thing. Yeah, it is. Um, it is more of that. Yeah. This is, um, I, I would buy vinyl even if I don't have. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, well, my turntable to play it. <laughs> so, but but I, I would uh, put it on my wall. Hundred mm, like percent. I mean, like it's yeah. here. Look, like albums on the wall. Right? Yeah, like you know that. I mean? But like, yeah, no one like, puts CDs on the wall. Do no, they? and and, and the thing is as well, if someone walks up to me with a CD, they're trying to sell it for say ten euro. Yeah. But they're trying to shot the vinyl for 15. I'm buying the vinyl. Like I walk away. Well, you know CD how just get busted up. In a, you know yeah. how cheap they are. To, yeah, I, know, like, in the... I think the best thing to go to to, to release when, when it comes to prices and and, and shit mm. is a releasing a tape, a real tape. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody can uh, nobody can play it, but uh, yeah. you put in the download code. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. this is this is the way to go. If, if you're not like, online I could everywhere. Because sold out in a day. I'm like, say, yeah. I'm not on Spotify yet, but. Um, I, I thought it was like a process. Yeah, yeah. You you, you make your name and, and then you mm. just load up your shit. But it, it's like like a process. You got yeah, to go so through it. That I, every better. song has to get checked and shit. And this is like, damn man, I'm not the business they man. I'm just a rapper yeah. man. It's, 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 it's not. It's like worth creators. doing. I'm not saying it gives us big numbers like financially, it's but just visibility, it's the visibility. Yeah, see, yeah. yeah get seen on all the. I think yeah. a lot of the thing that drives like because people don't really check YouTube quite as much now. I think that the Spotify everything's on playlists, the go, isn't it? The playlists it seem to be a big way of like discovering new people now. So if you kind of want to push that a bit, I don't know how the fuck you do that. Nah, no, this <laughs> digital world like is Spotify big over here. Like I, I don't mean this in a mean way, but you both are the perfect example that um, clicks and views are not a measure no. of quality. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. So. Uh, this is this is, is, is complete. It's not about quality. It's just about quantity. And uh, you can drop. Of course, I can drop a song every day, but it won't be good. No, yeah, 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 no, yeah, hundred yeah, no, yeah, percent. Like the thing is, uh, I work in it. That's I've got a nine yeah. five. That pays my bills. And then what do I want to do when I get home from work? I want to make music, so I'm hungry to make it, and I'm down to make something good. If music was my job. I, I feel like I would just, like at work, I'm not work. focused, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just churn it out. Like, I think it would be the same with music. Oh, I've got to drop an album, I've got to make some money, man, you know? Like, yeah. and, and I just, I don't feel like my hunger would be there. And that's just the, that's the brutal, honest truth. So yeah. I put, after work. It's cool work, when you come down to things like this, when, when yeah, exactly, it's fun, the connection you can just have a beer like, and, you know. Have, have I'm not a thinking about money. If or, I had, if you know I had I mean? a manager saying, you've got to get down to this thing, I'd be like, oh, for fuck's sake, I'd be sat here all grumpy. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, And as well, when you think about like, if it was about money, you might, we might not have ever come. Do you know what I mean? Like, but we're here for the holiday to meet you up know, with good come, people yeah. and have good beer and. Every show we do, like, like whatever you pay, we drink more than that. Like, yeah, so hundred percent. Yeah, we'll throw that behind the bar. You pay it, we just straight behind the bar. Yeah. Yeah. We drink I, more I, than I that. I think like. that is a perfect <laughs> shot to the end. So for, uh, maybe, maybe uh, le, le, the last question. Uh, I know why you are called Big Toast. You, you told me because I asked you. But uh, well, people want to know why Big Toast and Strange Neighbor. And uh, people were uh, building up stories. Maybe it's just really just his strange neighbor. He doesn't even know this guy. <laughs> <laughs> just break <makes> some <laughs> So, so what, what about your names, man? Uh, <laughs> 
Yeah. Okay, okay, let's kick it off. Bro. Big, big Toast was um, uh, me and Cracker John years and years and years back. We did a project uh, only built for Croydon Lynx. Um, and I sort of adopted the, the name uh, Toast Based Dinners as a little player on Ghost Face Killer. And then I just dropped the dinners bit and it become big toast. Like it was just a sort of natural. I like I like Panini Grande. Panini Grande, mate. That's when, brilliant. <laughs> when they kicked me off Facebook last <laughs> yeah, time, I had to change it to Panini. And it was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was. It's the best. It's the best. It's the best. I had to change it to Tom Breville now because yeah. they, they don't believe that my name's Panini Grande. <laughs> I didn't want to fake a passport. So. Yeah, man. So, so what Thank about French neighbor? <laughs> just like, <laughs> just well, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, the, I am my annoying neighbor, but I'm the shit neighbor. Like, like I used to be called fucking loads of names, Doctor Strange and all this bullshit. And then like, I am the neighbor that is up at six in the morning from 10 o'clock at night making studio, like, you were saying I, a bunch of really weird shit all the time as well. Yeah, you say some really, uh, I can say some strange shit. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm the Not annoying neighbour next door. You know? <laughs> None of that creepy shit yeah, on yeah, camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, off it's camera, kind of, yeah, yeah, it's kind of, kind of expectable that, that that explanation is... Because like, yeah. the studio's the at my house. The toes like it? a little bit... Nobody thinks of a toast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. They think of bread. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or a shoe. <laughs> you know, it's as well, like, uh, as well as the, um, the ghost face thing, it was a bit like... Um, you know, grew, grew up, you know, broken that. So all, all the dinners, so my mum couldn't cook for shit. I mean, Wait, she, don't slag like your nah, mum off, mate. Your mum, mum cooked but, loads of she smiley cook faces shit. and yeah, yeah, bland, bland pork chops. All, all dinners would basically be <laughs> <laughs> something on toast. Uh, yeah, beans on toast. Like, oh, great mum. <laughs> Love it. Oh, cheese on toast. <laughs> 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 what a treat. <laughs> Mushrooms on toast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's yeah, a good yeah. one. I didn't even have that, you know. That's dope. Pilchard, the fuck are you eating? <laughs> Sardines <laughs> on toast. <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, Stefan. Hey, perfect Abdrasleiter. Hey, big toast, strange neighbor, digging deeper, Tim Curry on the camera, he's a toast lighter. Thanks for having us, man. Yeah, thanks. There you go. There you go. There you go. Thanks, man. <laughs> oh, let's have another beer.